What's up everyone? I'm Chris, behind the camera Steph, and we are hungry to travel. Today in Tbilisi, we're going to be continuing our Georgian food tour and try a few more traditional Georgian dishes. A couple of which that contain meat, and one that's another hearty soup that's considered to be a very good hangover cure. Thankfully, I'm not hungover right now, but I'm sure the soup is going to still be super tasty. We're then going to go for a walk and check out a few sites before heading to a local traditional bakery to watch some bread get made and maybe pick up a few loaves ourselves. Let's go! We're almost at the restaurant, Suli, which is located in the old town of Tbilisi here, right near the Sulphur Baths. We're gonna be trying a few different dishes. The first, mitzvahdi, which is like a pork barbecue, shish kebab, skewer kind of thing. Uh, also, abkazara, which are spicy meatballs, as well as shikmarta, which is a really, really yummy chicken soup with an egg broth. So our shikharkma soup has arrived and it looks and smells delicious. Oh, I can see all the spices and different herbs in there already. Looks really, really rich, lovely with the egg. Mmm, wow. Really interesting taste. I believe there's a bit of like lemon or something in there that gives it a bit of an, an acidic taste to it. It's kind of tangy actually. So much different than your usual just kind of like salty chicken soup. Oh wow, there's huge pieces of chicken in there. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks delicious. Mmm. Chicken is super, super tender. Really juicy. Even though that's white meat actually, not dry at all. There's lots of herbs tasting in there. Yeah, very kind of like tangy, but also like a really nice smooth velvety texture to it. That is the perfect hangover cure. I can see why it's called that, because this would be perfect. Mmm. That's really, really good. These are some sizzling, spicy meatballs. Oh man, you can hear it sizzle in this clay, kesti pot. So it looks like it's garnished with some pomegranate and some raw onion. And yeah, everything is just kind of cooking and sizzling in the, in the pot. Ooh. You see as I cut into it, it's still like spitting. So hot. Wow, and even when I cut into it, the smells of the meat and the spices from the meatball just come shooting out. It smells like a meatball. It smells so good. Mmm. That's really good. Really tender. Mmm. Not chewy at all. I had a piece of pomegranate in there as well. That sweetness of the pomegranate really goes well with that, wow. These spicy meatballs are a combination of beef and pork, so, oh, really nice. It doesn't, doesn't taste fatty at all, and yeah, it's just stewing and it's, it's still cooking in the pot. Once everything kind of falls down into the pot, the onions are kind of cooking in the pot now as well. Get some of these cooked onions in there now, in the cooked juices of the, the meatballs. Wow, not too spicy though actually. For it to be a spicy meatball, maybe it's just like the spice that makes it like a spicy meatball, but yeah, it's not too like hot spicy. Like more like peppery than anything. This is a good meatball. 
there's actually pomegranates in the meatball as well. So mixed into the meatball. So that's really, really cool and tasty. Because then I was tasting like kind of like a sweetness, but like a hot sweetness. So that's what it was. It was the hot pomegranate that was cooked inside the meatball for extra flavor. Wow, that's really, really tasty. Mmm, so different, such a different meatball. Our last dish, the mitzvati, has arrived and it looks delicious. So you can see it's got really, really nice color to it. So it's like a shish kebab and it's grilled over some kind of a spit. So it's got that lovely, lovely grilled look to it. Served with some raw onions and pomegranate again, amazing. Mm, you can see it's lovely and juicy. That looks real good. I'm just gonna try it on its own first to taste the flavors. Wow, it's got such a strong, like, smoky, barbecued, not barbecued, but like smoky taste to it. It's really, really good. And I believe it's marinated in like lemon or pomegranate juice, so it gives it kind of a bit of a tangy taste as well. Really flavorful. A bit salty. It's a bit chewy, actually, so. I don't know if it's supposed to be this chewy or that's just how it is, but. It's good. That was such a tasty lunch. The chicken soup was really nice and hearty. The meatballs were so delicious and full of flavor. The um, pork skewers were really good as well. They were a little bit on the sort of like tough chewy side. I don't know if it's because they were cooked over a fire so they might have cooked really quickly, but I would have to say out of everything, the meatballs were by far our favorites of the meal. Overall, price-wise, the chicken soup and the meatballs were 15 lari each. The uh, pork skewer was 18 lari, so in total it was 48 lari, which is about $20 Canadian or 15 and a half USD. That was a yummy meal, so we're off to go walk it off, do a little bit of sightseeing, and then we're gonna head to the local traditional bakery to go watch some traditional shoddy bread be made in a very special way. had such a nice big walk to see the fortress of Mother Georgia and we have officially walked off our lunch I think. So we're gonna head off now to the traditional bakery and see if we can see some bread getting made. So we're at the traditional bakery now and we're gonna pick up some fresh shoddy bread. And we were just talking to the baker and he was saying he's got a fresh batch in the oven that'll be ready in about 20 minutes. Now what's really cool about this bread is that it's baked in this like stone well in the ground and there's a fire that burns on the bottom and they take the dough and they actually place it on the inner parts of the stone well and that's how the bread is baked so it's a really really cool way of baking it and really really traditional really old-fashioned so we're excited to try it out i can't wait i don't know if i can wait 20 minutes but i'll have to <laughs> Yeah. 
So after patiently waiting, we finally got our shati bread, which is a big smile. <laughs> Let me take it out so we can get a look at it. So warm and hot. So you can see it's all rounded, just like the well, like the tone that it is baked in. So our huge loaf of shati bread was 1.2 Georgian lari, which is about 50 cents Canadian or similar in USD. And we got it from this little bakery here, which is a pretty much a little hole in the wall. A lot of these traditional bakeries are in basements like this, down a few steps, so you've gotta really keep your eye out to find them. So, without further ado, I'm gonna take a bite of this nice hot loaf, because it just came right out the tone. So, I guess I'm just gonna, it's really spiky here, but I'm just gonna. <laughs> oh, so fresh and funky that is a crusty loaf. Mm. So you can see inside, it's really nice and light and airy. Mm. And actually, it's got a nice saltiness to it. Sometimes bread, especially homemade breads, can be really, really bland if there's not enough salt, but this is nice. It's got a nice amount of saltiness to it. Super, super crusty. And actually, here, let's turn it over so you can see how you know it was baked on the tone you've got the nice, I guess like, not charcoal or anything, but just like little burnt bits. So it has a really, really nice baked taste to it and the texture and everything. You can tell that this is very traditionally baked in such a cool, cool way. Mm, this is really, really tasty. For a plain loaf of bread, this is really good. <laughs> I like it. So today has been a really awesome day. We got to try some more traditional Georgian cuisine and it was all so delicious. We got to check out the fortress and Mother Georgia as well. And to top it all off, we got to come to this cool little bakery here and get this shoty, huge smiley looking bread and see it being cooked in that such cool way. So overall, such a cool day. We're in this alleyway right now, so we're gonna have to bring this home and have it for dinner later. <laughs> Get out of this alleyway. Or just maybe eat it all in this alley, because <laughs> it's so good. If you enjoyed this video of us trying some more amazing Georgian cuisine, give us a thumbs up, click the like button below, leave us a comment, we always love to hear from you all. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to keep caught up on all of our food videos and all of our food adventures. We're hungry to travel, we'll see you next meal.